Hi, this is Pratik and I'm going to talk about improvements on label propagation algorithm which is our the objective being to achieve near linear time community detection. Now what is community detection? Given a huge graph, our main objective is to actually find community structures within there, groups basically, of similar nodes. It is indeed a very challenging problem because the networks of today's world are so huge that you actually require a very fast and accurate algorithm. And the existing algorithms suffer from the problem of very high order complexity. There comes in a beautiful approach known as label propagation. It is a heuristic algorithm but the complexity is near linear time. That is the beauty of this algorithm. It has a very fast convergence and it can really work well on very large networks. Now let us try to understand the algorithm. Let G be a graph where V are the vertices and E are the set of edges. It is a graph of n nodes. What we do is to actually put labels on all of these nodes, a unique label on each and every one. Let the labels be Li, Li being the label of the ith node. In each iteration, a node searches for the label that maximally occurs in its neighborhood. It searches its neighborhood and then sees which label has the highest frequency. It now changes to that label. Now, whenever a situation comes where ties are happening, the label is determined uniformly randomly. Now, the convergence criteria, or so to say the termination criteria, is the situation when all the nodes have the same label as the one carried by a maximum of their neighbors, which basically means the nodes are unable to adapt anymore. Now the general problems faced by this algorithm are sometimes one label spreads too much to form a very large community. Basically some of the smaller communities combine together to form a giant community. Sometimes just one community comes up. That is the entire graph. The solution is very incons inconsistent. Like if you run multiple times you may get multiple results and all of them being different from each other. This is because multiple equilibrium occur in which the algorithm may converge. Several works have been done after that which intend to improve the algorithm like they say that synchronous version may work better the node itself is included in the neighborhood. That is whenever you consider the neighborhood of a particular node also include its own label. There is another algorithm called as LPA neighborhood strength which includes the effect of how well the neighbors are interconnected. Let's say a neighbor knows many of my neighbors also. So it is like the conglomeration of all the neighbors, how well they are interconnected within themselves. And there is another research work which gives node preference, that is some nodes might be important and some nodes might not be. And they also propose a hop attenuation method to prevent giant community formation, which basically was a problem of the asynchronous version of label propagation. Now, if we here propose a new method, we know that the inconsistency of the label propagation comes from the random breaking of ties which we had discussed earlier. Now instead of breaking them randomly, what we do is we actually form a set of super nodes. Now what are these super nodes? Super nodes here are the nodes which have the highest node degrees. Uh, let's say some 10% or something of the total number of nodes 
and whenever a tie is happening in the updating algorithm the labels of the super nodes connected to the concern node are preferred. We see that this convergence actually is better than the normal label propagation algorithm. Our termination criteria is when the set of labels totally stagnant. That is, there are no new labels coming up. We use the LFR benchmark, a very popular one and about 1,000 nodes are taken and if we check for normalized mutual information of different algorithms. Here you see the black line is basically our work and for higher mixing parameters the normalized mutual information is quite high than let's say the normal label propagation algorithm or the LPA neighborhood strength algorithms, which are denoted by these neighborhood scores 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.8, which clearly shows the advantages of our proposed method. This is another data set in which the average node degree is just 5. Uh, in the previous one, it was 15. Here again, our method proves to be better than the rest. Now we propose one more modification, that is, we have predetermined the order in which the nodes are to be updated. Here what we do is, we arrange it in such a way that super nodes come last in the updating list. Why so? Because we believe that the labels of non-super nodes should depend on those of super nodes. So first we should update the non-super nodes and then the super nodes even in one iteration. Now we denote the results due to this change by LPA ARR. We see here that LPA ARR is actually better than my original method and even LPA suggested by Leon et al. that is his method of node preference. It is somewhat similar to this thing, but we see that the green line is actually better than the red and the blue ones. So what do we conclude? That our improvements have considerably improved the normalized mutual information of the clustering output, even at bad mixing parameters. However, stopping criteria is something on which the clustering output is very dependent it needs to be revisited. We need to also include this to find overlapping communities. That's our future work. Thank you very much.